Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can organize uh, your different components and you know different uh, content text that you have in your Microsoft Loop pages into headings. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool feature. First of all, let me show you uh, what this is all about, and then I'll uh, mention some uh, uh, interesting uh, nuances. So look, um, here I am in uh, Microsoft Loop and uh, I'm inside of this workspace, you know, HR workspace, and I have this uh, Loop page uh, that de details uh, some information about an employee onboarding, all right? So I have some text, I have a task uh, list a component. And uh, obviously by default, when you, you know, type some text, uh, it just uh, appears as regular, you know, uh, body text. Uh, this is what it looks like. But, you know, I want to organize things into kind of, you know, chapters, you know, sections, if you will. So what you can do is highlight uh, a given, you know, text and you can convert it uh, into a heading. And um, yeah, let me choose, for example, uh, heading you know two just like that. So this is what it will look like. All right, and I can go on and on and uh, you know, for example, for this one, you know what? Uh, let's make it uh, H3. So you have uh, three headings to choose from. By the way, by the way, uh, let me just show you something else. So they appear over here. So you can quickly select one, or you can click on three dots over here and. Uh, under headings and lists. I mean, this is essentially where they all appear, all right? Um, I will explain collapsible headings in a different video. They work a little bit differently. For now, we're just focusing on this three. So once again, you can uh, choose from uh, any of these ones. Now, a couple of things uh, I want to mention is that's pretty much it, all right? It's just a nice way for you to visually kind of organize your information. Now, when you organize things into you know different headings, it does not indent, you know, things, all right? It does not organize things, um, you know, kind of in terms of the layout. So, for example, if I made this H2 heading and this is H3, all right, uh, I want to indent uh, this, uh, you, you know, heading, uh, you would need to do uh, so uh, essentially manually, all right, just like that, you see? So you would need to indent it. So the heading itself doesn't uh, have anything to do with, you know, how it's visually, you know, represented here. So you might be wondering why uh, those headings are important. Well, first of all, right, it gives you uh, a visual representation, right, a nice uh, visual layout, a way to organize your, you know, if you have lots of text, you can uh, organize it, uh, you know, visually, so it's easier to read. Uh, uh, that's uh, reason number one. The second reason, and I will be recording a separate, um, you know, essentially video on this. There is a nice, um, you know, uh, a nice loop uh, component that exists uh, that in loop that you can add to your loop pages, uh, something called table of contents. And it allows you to, if you have lots of uh, content on your page, it allows you to pretty much create a nice, you know, clickable table of content. So I'm doing this right now and look at this. It pretty much picks on all those headings I created, you see, no matter whether they were H1, H2, you know, H3, and I can easily, you know, jump to a given, you know, a section, a given, a given a heading right away. So definitely a huge, huge plus. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, you know, briefly about headings is that when you add new uh, loop components to your, uh, you know, to your loop pages, they automatically get, uh, I believe it's an H2 heading. So look, here is a task list I added uh, some time ago. And automatically, if I check, uh, actually, yeah, it adds uh, them as H1 uh, heading. All right. So, and obviously, uh, you can change it if necessary. All right. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you something else. I mean, again, let me just uh, show you. So, let's go ahead and add, I don't know, another component of some uh, sort. Uh, doesn't really matter which one. Let's pick um, uh, just a boarding table. All right. Again, it adds a voting table, but you know the you know title of the uh, you know uh, component uh, is uh, already uh, a heading, and again you can change it uh, as necessary on the fly. 
Uh, and um, yeah, so that's uh, super, super convenient. And um, those headings, right, those loop uh, component headings, uh, look, you know, they automatically become part of the table of contents. So very, very nice. I mean, so your users don't need to scroll all the way down. You know, you can embed table of contents in here, you know, click on it and it brings you straight to that particular heading. So in addition to visual representation, it also gives you that, gives you that clickable kind of link uh, to go directly to that particular section of the loop page. All right, so that's all I really wanted to show you in this uh, video. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.